Hi everyone, this is Alex, your local realtor here in the Lafayette area. Thanks for watching this video. Please follow me for more videos real estate related and hit the like button, please. Uh, today's video is, do you want to lose $50,000, $70,000 when trying to sell your home? If you do, then watch this video. And if you don't, also watch this video. Very interesting what we're going to get into. So let's get into it. So I, I've ran into this a couple of times personally already uh, with other, some other realtors that are very close to me and some other homes that I've been watching and paying attention to. And, you know, it, it's really amazing to see how many of these homes are not selling and the massive amount of price drops that we are seeing in the industry. And, and then of course the, you know, the expired listing, right? The home's just not selling at all. So let's get into this really briefly. I may have to make another video cause this may be too long of a video. So I just want to point out some highlights of what we are noticing and what I, I have personally have noticed and some pitfalls for you to avoid. Okay. So <clears throat> first things first, you know, just last month alone, we had well over 80 expired listings, 80. And in addition, that's not even counting the cancels. And it's certainly not uh, counting the enormous amount of price drops that I've been seeing. So, you know, the real estate market when selling a home, it's not bad. It's still a seller's market. So what's happening? What's happening is that you as a homeowner are making bad decisions. That's number one. Number two, you and whoever you're working with are overvaluing your, your home. And that's why it's not selling thus costing you money. How much money would it cost you if you have to sell your home, but you can't sell your home? Just think about that. What does that cost you dollar wise? And if you were to price the home appropriately from the beginning, the, the, the appropriate number, would you, would you lose that kind of money? So for example, let's just play this out. Let's say your home is worth three hundred thousand dollars and you price it at 325 because of you know upgrades and whatnot that you have done to your home and but the current market based on other homes on the market that are similar to yours you know you probably should sell it at like 290 right and maybe you still sell it in less than 30 days maximum get a full you know get a full price offer and you can move on to whatever's next in your life. However, what's happening is you're getting really bad advice by the person that you hired. And now you're, you price your home at 335, 345, whatever the case may be based on some comps from the last year, which of course is a completely different topic right now, but let's just say 345. But then the home doesn't sell. So now you do a price drop. And now you're down to 330. And then you do another price drop and you're down to 320. And then all of a sudden you're just like, forget it, take it off the market. That's how it happens. The other thing that happens is like I just saw, I just saw someone do a $60,000 price drop on a home. Listen, that's a $60,000 mistake that the person they hired made in eva evaluating the home, okay? So so they, they had a, a $60,000 price drop. It blows my mind just thinking about it, but a $60,000 price drop because they have to sell their home. They need to move to whatever's next in their life, right? So I, I just wonder, what if it was priced appropriately the first time? Would, would, it, would it have been a $60,000 difference? Probably, probably not. You know, so pricing your home accordingly is huge. And yes, you got to use the comps, but the comps are not the end all be all. So getting into part two, 
I know of a realtor who is trying to sell their own personal home and can't for the same reason they overvalued their property. So now, you know, I was looking at it. They already did a one, one price drop for $10,000. Now they're offering some additional incentives to, to the new buyer in closing costs and this, that, the other. And I'm just saying like, wow, I did the math, all the math with fees and everything. It was roughly like $35,000. And I go, well, if they would have priced their home $35,000 less from the beginning, maybe now they're not put the, didn't, they don't put themselves in a position where, you know, the home has been on the market for a handful of weeks or months now, and now they're in desperation mode, and now they start devaluating the home even more, et cetera, et cetera. It's, a, it's, a, it's the ripple effect. And this is a realtor, mind you. You know, I, I mentioned earlier in the video there was about 78 uh, expired listings last month. I, I went through about a quarter of them, and I also noticed some other things, you know, like... You know, the incentive that you give for a buyer agent to bring a buyer to buy your home, right? Like in the fees, right? The commission, the bad word commission. When you underprice that, those homes are not selling, I'm noticing, okay? So when I see, because I could see on the back end tool, I could see like, hey, this is what they're offering the buyer agent. So I imagine this is what they're offering the selling agent part. And these discount brokers are not selling the homes. One, they're undervaluing, they're overvaluing your home as far as price point. Two, they're coming in and saying, hey, I'll do it for this. And three, they're not marketing your home. Check out my other videos about marketing a home in this market and what it takes to sell a home in this market. So while there's still a handful of homes that are selling in a day or two, it's only because they're pricing it appropriately from the beginning. They're not playing around. They're not trying to overvalue their home. They're looking for a solid buyer with a solid lender to sell their home so they can move on. And you should be thinking the same thing too if you have a home to sell. So just to recap, don't overvalue your home based on comps from the pandemic, right? It was an anomaly. The interest rates were extremely low and people were offering 20, 30, 40, $50,000 over asking price for many different reasons. But overvaluing your home is the very number one mistake that you could do. Number two, the person that you're hire and the advice that you're getting from that person is your second mistake, okay? If the, you have any any realtor out there that's willing to wholesale their services, well, watch out, right? Buyer beware, as they say. If they're willing to do it for, you know, cheaper than the other guy, then they're probably not going to provide you the same service either. It takes, you know, the, the money's got to come from somewhere to market the home. And it's not the same thing. You know, you guys really got to educate yourself on this one. It's a real big pet peeve of mine. You know, it's like, you know, you have a beautiful home that deserves to be marketed properly and need and, and deserves to be maximized its value on all the things that you've done to that home. And sometimes it's a big mistake when you just hire the wrong person to represent your home. So just be very, very careful with that, okay? Do some more homework. Don't just hire the first person just because it's your uncle Bob's sister's best friend's cousin. I mean, don't do those things, guys. I mean, do some homework. You know, you know, interview, ask questions. You know, what would you do to you know to market my home? How would you market my home? What's the game plan if my home doesn't sell in the first three weeks? You know, what about you know? pictures you know what kind of pictures will you be taking where will you be marking the home i mean it's a series of questions you could be asking you know just because they have a real estate license does not qualify them to sell your home let me be very clear with that i'm going to say it one more time and i'm going to upset a lot of realtors out there but it's the truth just because they have a real estate license does not mean they qualify to sell your home Okay, and you guys can make as many examples as you want in all the other industries in the world we live in today. And doctors, lawyers, mechanics, school teachers, 
you know, engineers. Not all profession professionals are created equal, and some are better than others in different things. So depending on the type of home you're selling or how quickly you need to sell it, think about these things, guys. I, I really want you guys to hone down. But anyway, I don't want to get completely off track because I can very easily. As you, as if you've seen any of my other videos, you know that. But again, a large amount of expired listings, large amount of price drops. You know, you're out there looking for wholesale brokers, which are, by the way, the ones that are not selling the homes. So, you know, is it... You know, how much money do you lose when you hire the wrong person? Just that's what I want you to think about. How much money do you lose if you hire the wrong person? When you don't sell your home and you get caught in a position where you have to do large amounts of uh, price point discounts to sell your home. And I guess it is possible that if you did everything the right way from the beginning, that you still may have to do a price drop because the at the end the market will tell you if, if you know what the value of your home is right but there's so many other things to consider the location of your home the type of updates your home has or may need um what kind of marketing is being done to the home like are we getting eyeballs of buyers to view your home right so again if you're thinking of selling a home and you have questions about selling your home and how quickly you need to sell your home, please, if you have questions, reach out to me. I'm more than happy to talk with you about them. Maybe we will, maybe we will work together, maybe we won't, and that's okay, but we could have a conversation and we could talk about you know, what it is that I could do to help you sell your home and what my strategy is. And you know, we can get together and talk about uh, a a marketing plan and we could talk about your home value together and we could just you know look at the landscape of all the other similar homes in your area and what's happening with them and use them as a barometer of how we price your home and 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 selling it right so thanks for watching this video please again subscribe for more real estate videos uh, like button would be awesome uh, I will leave my contact information if you want to reach out with a phone call, a text message, an email, however you want to reach out, and let's have a chat. Have a great day, guys. Thanks for watching.